Hey folks, Cherry here for Sirena. And you guys, I was just at the recovery house. I'm just getting home, getting myself together. But I was talking to the girls about like lipo BBL for smaller girls or for skinny girls. And I was talking about Fluff Fairy and about what my booty has gone through in the course of this process. So I went through my live archive to try to find like a video from back then to show the girls. And what did I come across? I came across the specific video that I made where the passion, the desire, the thirst, ugh, everything was born for me to create Sirena Surgical Services and the Essex Sanctuary Recovery House, the Snatch Squad, advocacy, patient advocacy team, and everything else. You guys, I had a shitty, she is horrible, my coordinator. She's the fucking worst. Not only that, she works with a horrible recovery home, and because they stole my money and were stealing my medications, I made a complaint to the doctor. They kicked me out and left me in the street, and I was alone. I can't tell you the things that I went through. I can't tell you how horrible my experience was. But I can also tell you that the staff that I hired, that I met during that horrible time, are the people that helped me open my business. And I'm ever grateful for them. And guess what? Even that shitty ass coordinator and that horrible recovery house, I'm grateful for them too. Because they helped me to help y'all better than anybody else does. Take a look. <laughs> like, I get emotional thinking about it because... I've been out here all this time and, you know, when you don't feel well, you don't necessarily need too much, right? But you want to know somebody cares about you. You want to know that you're not just the bill. You want to know that people are going to go above and beyond for you. And I'll tell you that they brought me Chinese food, bro. And they did my massages and they took care of me. And they brought extra equipment to take care of me. And they brought me a phone charger. And they coordinated me to get to the airport without needing to pay anything like extra, without needing to do anything, without feeling like, like I was an inconvenience. Like I, I'm a very independent person. You will not see me cry often or get emotional often. But I will say that this trip... Um, one being half Dominican, one being excited about just doing my body and, and everything else, like all of those things together just made this a very emotional trip for me. And because I was trying to help other people, I stayed in a recovery home to try to see if that was an option. And unfortunately, that really is not a good option. And I regret it so much, but I'm so blessed because I met the right people at the right time so if you need anything please 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 so like i said at that time if you need anything anything please reach out we are not we are not the usual and it's been years and we're always sold out i think that speaks volumes and i speak think that speaks a lot more than a high follower count hope to hear from you soon